Hey guys, what's going on? I kind of want to go over Hydro Put Buddy. It's a nutrient calculator. Um, you just go over to Google, type in Hydro Buddy. It should be the first one that pops up. You just open it up, and then you find ever what operating system operating system you're using, like Windows, uh, Linux, Mac OS, Android, whatever you're using just click it and download it I use Windows and then once you download it you just open up Hydro Buddy um, you come over here to the main page and you set it to gallons um, your ppm grams just kinda like how I have it here and then you'll want to add a nutrient whatever nutrient you're using I'm gonna be using Master Blend 1224 so you just click substance selection and then you'll have all the preloaded nutrients or stuff you've added and already have things that let's go ahead and we'll just leave all that in there but let's say you want to add a new nutrient to it like we're gonna add uh, you can name it whatever you want I'm gonna name mine master blend because that's what we're gonna be doing we'll just call it master blend test and then you'll have to input all your nutrients whatever's on the back of the bottle or bag that you're using so we'll come over here to custom hydroponics because that's where I get most of my stuff from and we got the master blend 01224 from custom hydroponics we want to come over here and uh, click the specs to get all the nutrients so we got 0% nitrogen 12% phosphate uh, 24 potash. You'll want to input all of these into your Hydro Buddy. What's important here is the P205 and the K2O. You'll want to come over to Hydro Buddy and change that. Um, I'm not an expert at this, so still kind of learning, but I think more people that use uh, this nutrient calculator will help them. So we have 0% nitrogen and just want to input all this. I have it wrote down over here, so I'm going to go into Hydro Buddy and input all these numbers. So we had 0% nitrogen, we had 12% P205, uh, 24% Let's double check it. It's 12% 24% potash, the magnesium is at 4% and you'll just want to come in here and keep typing in all your uh, nutrients that's on the back of your bottle or bag let's see and we have sulfur is at 11 percent let's just double check that that's sulfur 11 percent and the boron is 0 0.02 Copper 0.01 Magnes is at 0 Zero one zero zero one and zinc zero point zero one. And then we will just want to you do this for all your nutrients that you're gonna be using. So I'm gonna be using the master blend and the calcium nitrate. So we have all the master blend typed in here. You would do the same for your uh, calcium nitrate or what, whatever calcium nitrate you're using, which are all about the same. Click Add to Database. We got Master Blend Test. And we hit OK. Hit OK. And we'll come over here to the Master Blend Test and we find it on this side that we just added. And we click it. We add the new, I already have Master Blend right there, but we'll go ahead and add it. Add. Oh, not add new. We want to add to use 
Now we have to move over to here to this side. And you'd want to do the same for your calcium nitrate or whatever else you're using. But that'll give you the idea of how to add your nutrient over here. And then you would close this out, carry out calculation, and come over here to results. And we have our master blend. This is where the fun kind of starts right here when you kind of start seeing all, all the different nutrients. So we have the master blend. And I use it at 4 grams per gallon, which will give you these numbers right here. And um, if I you do add your, uh, your calcium nitrate, which I usually run it at 3 to 3.5 in early, early flower. So we'll just... We'll say three and so much nitrogen that gives us. Your calcium nitrate is literally what it says. It's calcium and nitrogen. So if you have a deficiency in calcium, you just add a little bit more cal nitrate, which you have to watch out because you've got your nitrogen tagged along with it. So your calcium, it's just calcium nitrate. We'll see what that three grams gives us per gallon. And that's uh, 125, which is about right. You can even up it if you want a little bit more, say 3.5. And it's a little high there, it's over over that. Let's make sure I didn't type something wrong. We'll go zero into the master blend. Take away all the phosphorus and potassium and stuff here. Um, it looks right. I usually run about 3.0. And give 125 nitrogen. You could use more in veg if you wanted, but 125 is pretty good. Then I'll we'll use the master blend I already have up here. Make sure the numbers are are right. Four grams. Mm -hmm. It's the same as what we just put in. Well, let's say if let's go ahead and add the calcium nitrate just to kind of you guys should really play with this it's nothing to be scared of or once you start messing with it you'll figure it out real easy so let's go back to the main page let's add a new substance here let's uh they should already have the calcium nitrate if you just want to click it it should be already in the preloaded and we you just click it and hit do not use and come over here and you can find the calcium nitrate like right here you just click the calcium nitrate if you want to add your different calcium nitrate you can you can add it which we already have calcium nitrate here oh, do not use and I have the yard already set up but we'll make a new one just to kind of go through it so let's go to add new let's let's back back out so go back to your main page and click substance selection since you already have this up so where you add new nutrients hit add new we'll just name this calcium test it's my cal yard calcium nitrate so calcium nitrate change uh, all this which I don't let's see here here's the yara I use the yara calcium nitrate and we got the specs up here, total 15.5, 14.5 of nitrogen, ammonia nitrogen 1.1, so we'll add all of this in. And we got calcium, which is 19%, so it's literally just nitrogen and calcium. So we come over here. And we're going to type in the nitrogen at... Um, 14, it's got total 15.5, so nitrogen 14.5, so we'll add the 14.5. Then we'll add the ammonium nitrate 1.1, 1.1, and 19% calcium, so 19% calcium. Then we'll hit we'll just name it calcium yara test so we can find it mm 
so we're back at the main page. We go over here to Let me just click your substance selection. We'll look for the Yara one, the Yara test. I haven't really messed with this calculator very much, so I'm kind of new to it. But I do think everybody should learn to use it, it as helpful. Let's see if we can find the one we just created here. Man, I might be going blind. Oh, there it is. And then we just click it and then we'll hit add to use. And that's your calcium nitrate added. And that's just how you add the nutrients. Just take the what's it on the ever on the back of the bottle and just input the stuff in into the calculator and then you just come over here and carry out calculation go to results and then we got our master blend test and our yard test that we have just added so I'll show you what I do in early flower early flower before, until stretch I usually run four grams of the master blend three to three point five of the Yara. You're also going to want your magnesium. And I don't think I have any magnesium on here. I'm not seeing it. So let's add magnesium. Sorry guys, I wasn't really prepared for all this, but oh, I might have closed everything out. Let me open it back up. main page substance selection and we're going to need some magnesium sulfate so we could just click magnesium sulfate just Epsom salt hit add to use and then carry out calculation results we got our magnesium sulfate and once again, let's do four grams of the master blend, three grams to 3.5 of, of the uh, calcium nitrate Yara. Then we're going to need some little magnesium. I usually use about 0.5. And then we'll see if that, that does our magnesium here. 55. It's about, you could use, sometimes I'll do 0.5 to one gram, it's just depending. You can uh, really mess with it however you want. You have magnesium deficiency, you can up it. You uh, have a calcium deficiency or nitrogen deficiency. You got your cal nitrate. That's exactly what it is: is calcium and nitrogen. And your master blend just going to be your phosphorus and potassium. So if you need more pK here, you just up. We check the pK. You just up your master blend. So we'll go to 4.5 and keep an eye on these numbers. Just up it a little. So after stretch, if you wanted, you can do a little PK boost. I mean, you can do it however you want. And just do 4.0. This is how you use Hydro Buddy. It's it's not that hard. I mean, if you want to download it and actually start playing with it, it's uh, not that hard to do. And they'll always be saved in here. So if you have a problem, you can always open up your Hydro Buddy if you want to boost your nitrogen you can come over here to your calcium nitrate to your Yara calcium nitrate here and up that for a little bit more nitrogen which one that be 134 plus 10 here because you got your ammonium nitrate It'd be 140 which is a little high but maybe in veg you could get away with that and you say if you want to drop it down in late flower which I usually do in late flower I'll go down to two grams per gallon get it down to about 80 and that's about what I run towards the end of flower right here. I usually start out with four three to four three five an early stretch, and then after stretch, sometimes I might bump it up a little bit to get a little PK boost. I mean, that's just up to you if you want. You could just run four point zero 
four gram or four grams of master blend, three grams of calcium nitrate, and 0.5 of magnesium probably the whole way through, and do just fine. 0.5 to one grams of of magnesium with Epsom salt. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys how to use this, and um, if you have any questions, just ask in the comments. I'll try the best I can to help. I I do want to include who made this program. It is by Daniel Fernandez. Um, it was free to download. I do think he has a donate over here for PayPal. But you can see up here, he programmed by Dr. Daniel Fernandez, PhD. I did download it at um, scientronhydroponics.com. But if you just Google HydroBuddy, it should be the first first one to pop up. I did want to give credit to him for making it because it is an awesome program to use. It has helped me. I hope it helps you guys. Before I go here, I kind of want to show you guys what I do run in my nutrient solution. What I run throughout flour. I only use the master blend during flour right now. I mean, I might use it in veg later and mess with the calculator and use it in veg right now. I'm only using it for flour. So early flour, I'll use uh, 4 grams per gallon of the master blend. 3.5 grams per gallon of the calcium nitrate to 3 grams, just depending on how much nitrogen you want to put in there, calcium, but 3.5 grams per gallon for the, to help with the stretch, during stretch, Epsom salt, we got 0.5 grams, let's change that, 0.5 grams to 1 gram per gallon, just depending on how you want to measure it. I usually do less, a little less than a gram. I know I'll do 0 0.7, 0 0.5. I just stay between 0.5 and 1 gram. And that's my week one through three until, until stretch stops. Once stretch stops and after stretch, I usually go to 4 grams or to 4.5 grams if you want to do a little PK boost per gallon. I mean, you can go up or down however you want with the master blend. I usually do about 4.5 a little bit after the stretch. That's how I've been running at this run anyways. In my yard, calcium nitrate, I'll do uh, 3 grams. And sometimes I'll even lower it to 2.5 to lower the nitrogen. I start trying to drop nitrogen down a little. Not too much, but a little. And then I'll keep running that for the next 3 weeks with 1.5 to 1 gram. That usually stays the same. That's the salt will stay the same. 0.5 to 1 gram per gallon. And then usually about 6 or 7... Usually about six weeks on until flour, I'll use the master blend. I'll start go back down to the four grams per gallon, and then I'll really drop the nitrogen down. I'll use uh, two grams per gallon with the with the calcium nitrate. And if I remember right, that'll still leave me 100 ppm of calcium, and start dropping my nitrogen down. It drops it down to about 80. And then I'll still use my Epsom salt of 0.5 to one grams per gallon. I hope I explained this pretty good.